Hey guys, Josh, Right Coast Off-Road. Um, it's going to be a quick little video on how to service your secondary the correct way. Um, I don't think there's one on YouTube yet. If there is, sorry. I'm sure somebody will let me know I copied their video if there is. But I'm going to do it my way and how we do it here at the shop. Um, so, obviously you got to get your belt off. If you don't know how to get your belt off, then this service isn't for you. <clears throat> the bolt that holds the secondary on, uh, when you go to put it back together, it's going to be 100 foot-pounds. Um, so make sure to get that handled and this is left hand thread. So I'm going to repeat it. It's left hand thread. So when you go left, it tightens, you have to go right to loosen it. So when you take this off with your impact, don't hammer it left because you're just tightening it up. And if it breaks off in your transmission shaft, it's going to be a bad day. So like I said, left hand thread, so that's tightening it and then right hand loosens it. So. And you'll see like most of them have a step washer. Some of them just have a flat washer. I think the newer ones are just flat washers now, but old ones have step washers, but either way, take it off, set it down the way it came out. And then you can just pull your secondary right off and we'll put it on the bench. All right, so you're gonna need a secondary tool. I have no idea where this one even came from. We've had it so long and used it so many times. Um, there is a clip there. You're going to have to take that off. Make sure you have pressure on it here. I'm Again, I'm not going to tell you guys how to use a secondary tool because if you don't know how to use this, it's probably not for you. But <clears throat> essentially, you put that in the vise. Then you put this device up here and then run it down. It takes tension off the spring. Don't go crazy. Don't go like, don't like push this down super far. You just need enough to take the tension off of that so you can remove that clip there. All right, so... <clears throat> we got the clip off, so remove your clip, remove your spring seat, spring, uh, and then next is going to be your bottom spring seat, and this is where a lot of people mess it up. This little cover here that's built into the spring seat actually holds the pins into the built-in helix there, so you want to take a flathead screwdriver <clears throat> and just kind of easily pry it up you don't want to go crazy and bend it you just want to hold you just want to pry it up spin it around a little bit pry it up see this one's obviously this clutch is in poor condition so that's why but <clears throat> keep rotating it just give it a little pry and i'm sorry it looks goofy because i'm doing it with one hand there we go all right so all right so that's off so if you look here it's hard to see you got a pin there, a pin there, a pin there, and a pin there under all that gross grease. So the first thing you want to do, take a rag, try to wipe off as much as you can. Once you get it wiped off, where you can actually see the pins, then you'll want to put a little bit of upward pressure, not a lot, just a little bit, kind of like so. And then you can take the magnet and pull the pin right out. Direction doesn't really matter. The pins are the same. But you will put a little upward pressure on it. And sometimes they hang because all the nasty grease and dirt in there. There we go. And do that for each one. All four. Alright, so all your pins are out now. So that means that the secondary will split um, quick little word of the wise take some of the grease this here you see that lip there that your clip went in make sure that's nice and greasy before you slide this off because if you slide it off and this is dry the seal lip that's in here can catch that <clears throat> and damage the seal and then when you reassemble it all your grease is going to fly out and make your belt slip so pull that off nice and easy yep and that's where you get where the pins go um, so now <clears throat> here's what the inside looks like you can see all the build up and gross crap in there flip it over for me there we go and the other thing too we want to do there are there's an o-ring there and an o-ring at the bottom take a little pick pull those o-rings out uh, just to not get brake clean on them it's not the best it's not gonna kill them but it's not the best form um, same deal with your seals and stuff in here 
uh, don't spray brake clean directly on them. Just wipe them off really good, get them clean. Um, and essentially you can just clean the whole sheave now. Um, I see a lot of people online saying they just pressure wash their clutches. Don't ever do that because it can blow past the seals and then you're really going to have some issues. And I don't know if you can see this clutch has got like 2,400 miles on it, but it was starting to shift kind of, I'm not going to say shift, but it was starting to, the clutch was traveling funny and you can see all the grime and grit and nasty stuff in there. And basically when the secondary was trying to open so it could shift up, it was starting to hang and get stuck, which can also add to the shift and feeling of bad weights or a groove primary or et cetera, et cetera. So now that you've got this apart, clean everything really good, wipe it down. Remember, pop those O-rings off. You don't want to spray stuff directly on those O-rings. <clears throat> and before we put the grease back on there, we'll pop the O-rings back on and show you from there. All right, so we got everything cleaned up nice. You can see what that looks like now. Um, got the pins cleaned up and then where your seals are here. We got that cleaned up. There's a big O-ring right there <clears throat> where it slides onto your transmission uh, input. So this is all cleaned up nice. Now let's get to the grease. So when you use a grease, you want to use a grease with, ca with, with calcium sulfonate um, that is NLGI number two. Um, it's a waterproof grease. I believe that's the thickener. I'm sure the grease guys will tell me otherwise, but this is what you want to use. Um, Kawasaki has some recommendations in their book, which are basically this, just like a Japanese brand. Um, so we're going to put a nice little sheen <clears throat> all over that shaft in here on the pins. And once we get it greased up, I'll come back and show you how we put the pins in. <clears throat> all right, so got a nice little sheen here. Sheen inside of there on the seal lips. And then we greased the uh, pins there. All right, then we want to take and just slowly slide it over that because you don't want to damage those seals. There we go. All right, and this is the fun part. So now you're going to take these pins and they're going to line up with the grooves in there. And you're going to slowly pick it up until it matches there we go all right so we got one in and then that should get us the others two and be careful not to push these too far because they will fall out um, when you go to reinstall it they'll fall out <clears throat> inside of this as you're trying to put it on the secondary shaft so all right so you got that there also something i forgot to mention that's my mistake mark your sheaves when you take them apart um, because they are balanced <clears throat> so like put an orange mark there and an orange mark there we knew where this one was but for you guys that have never done it always <clears throat> mark your sheaves so when you put it back together it's the same um, so take a little dab of grease here and go around this and remember those seals like i said we put plenty of grease on that so the seals didn't get damaged when we pushed it down on it so you don't want to go crazy with it because you don't want it flying out in your clutch, but you do want to make sure you got plenty there. All right, so that collar we took off the spring seat that goes on last. <clears throat> and it sits right down on there. All right, so now once you're here, you can take a rag and wipe off all the excess. You want to get everything off you can on the outside. Um, the, like I said, there's an O-ring in there, so that's going <clears> to <throat> keep anything from getting onto your shaft, but you don't want to, you don't want grease just piling out of this thing because then it's going to fly out and hit your primary or your belt or the secondary face and start spinning. So clean that up really good, and then we will reassemble it. All right, so reassembly, we cleaned all the excess grease off of that. <clears throat> and when this goes on, you don't have to like force it because the spring will get it when you do it. Um, but now you want to take your secondary tool and same deal. You'll run this down, run this down until you get to that lip there. And that's where your clip goes. And then that holds your secondary together. All right. So this is your shaft before you reassemble, just a dab of grease. Like you don't need a lot. Just work it in there real good. <laughs> Sorry. That was kind of funny. Professional. Um, yeah professional but you don't want a ton just a little bit of sheen on it all right 
So once that's ready, you're gonna take your secondary and just gently set it up there because those pins can fall out. Um, if you get it on the first shot, you're awesome because we've dropped a few of them, the pins, and it might take a second. And we're getting there. There we go. All right, so it's in there. Remember, left hand thread, just like we took it off. Lefty tidy. Lefty tidy. All right, so after that, you'll torque this to 100 foot pounds. We have a clutch holding tool that goes there that we use to hold it, um, <clears throat> which is like a dirt bike tool that we kind of purposed for that. But you can hold it just like that and then torque it. Um, once you get it torqued, once you get everything back together, uh, the last most important thing, you definitely got grease on the inside of your sheaves. Take a clean rag, lint-free rag, spray it with brake clean, clean your sheaves out before you put that belt on there because I guarantee you they're greasy, no matter how clean you think you got them. So clean your hands, clean the sheaves. 100 foot-pounds, tightens left. Um, other net guys, it's not hard. Um, if you got the right tools, like I said, really the only special tool you need is that secondary clutch tool. Um, but other than that, do this every couple thousand miles. It'll keep your machine uh, shifting correctly, shifting out correctly. Um, and you won't notice as much hesitation and hanging between your, you know, while the, while the clutch is trying to shift out. Um, so, yeah, any questions, uh, ask us in the comments and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good day.